everybody so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this kind of sugar skull makeup or a Dia de los Muertos and the first thing that you're gonna want to do is paint your entire face white I'm just using a white grease makeup that I got from a Halloween store and I found that it helps if you add a little bit of water to it it really does help give it a more of a painty kind of look and it's easier to apply and to apply it, I'm just using a standard foundation brush, just a little cheapy that I got from the dollar store. And I'm just taking that and painting it all over my face, making sure that I get, you know, the jawline. And you don't, you don't have to bring any down to your neck if you don't want to. And then to start with the eyes or the eye sockets of the sugar skull, you're going to want to take and draw a black circle around your entire eye. Pretty big, so I went above my eyebrow and down maybe about half an inch underneath my eye. And to do that, I'm using Master Precise by Eye Studio from the brand Maybelline. And I'm just drawing that circle with that around my eye. You don't have to have it perfect because I really, really suck at drawing with liquid eyeliner. So just try to do it the best that you can. And then afterwards, we're going to be filling in the entire thing with black. Then after you fill in the entire eyes black with the eye studio, you can go ahead and take a black eyeshadow. I'm just using one from an LA Colors palette, and I'm just taking the blackest color and patting that all over my eye just to mattify the color more so it's not so shiny. Um, you can do this either or. You can leave it shiny or you can put the black eyeshadow on. And then now to get started with the mouth area, I'm just taking a liquid eyeliner from LA Colors and I'm just going to be painting some stitches down my lips starting in the middle and working my way outward on each side. They try to get them as even as possible, you know, so it looks kind of right. And then what Then we're going to be taking a black eyeshadow from the same LA Colors palette and taking it and putting it in the inner parts of our lip just to give it a off shadow kind of look and to darken it up. What you're going to do from there is bring out two lines from the corner of your mouth, trying to make them similar length and then drawing stitches down the center of those lines as well just to make it look like your mouth is really big and stitched up kind of like a sugar skull so I'm just doing about 11 to 12 lines on the lips that we drew out and bringing them in small getting making the lines smaller as you get closer to the inner outer corners of your mouth for this sugar skull look. I'm just doing a generic look for it that I found on Google. There's different ways that you can do this. So you can just Google sugar skull makeup and you can pick whatever nose that you like best. I'm just doing like a spade kind of shape and making like a tip at the top of my nose and bringing it down all the way to the bottom. To do this, I'm just outlining it first with 
a eyeliner pencil and then I will be filling it in with elf cream eyeliner just to darken it up. And then I'm going back to the eyes with a Colossal Mascara by Maybelline. This is a smoky eye edition. And I'm going to be putting this onto my eyelashes just to darken out my eyelashes and make my eyes look more open. So I'm just applying a thin coat to the top and bottom lashes for both my eyes. And then for the eyes, I want to go with like a flower looking type for the Sugar Skull makeup. And to do this, I'm taking an e.l.f. lip liner that I use on my lips and I'm just going to be going around my entire eye making little flower shaped petals as you can see what I am doing here and then after that I'm taking a red cream makeup the same as the white and I'm just going to be filling those in with that and then on top of that I'm taking a red eyeshadow from my BH Cosmetics palette and filling them in when you do draw them on you don't have to worry about them being perfect just kind of get them as even as possible and then just fill them in so they all match and look the same exact color Now to add more decoration to the look, I've moved down to my chin area where I'm going to be doing the exact same flower petal design. I'm just going to do three petals. The one in the middle will be the biggest one and then two even littler ones on each side. And since I'm sticking with the red and black theme, I really want the red to be the middle one and then the other two will be black. To do the red, I'm using a cream makeup, the same as the white that we used on our face and on the eyes, and I'm applying that there. And then on the outer petals, I'm just using a black cream eyeliner by e.l.f. And then to even out the lines and make them darker and more defined, I'm using a liquid eyeliner by LA Colors and adding a few dots just to add some sugar skull decoration. You can do this however you want. There are many different ways you can do this. So just do what you like and try to make it look as traditional and decorative as possible. of the forehead I wanted to add a spider web looking design so that is what I did and to start this design off I am doing four lines two curved out ones on each side and then two in the middle and then to connect the spider web I'm just doing little diagonal swipes with the liquid eyeliner the one I'm using is by LA colors and I'm just doing even lines all the way to the top and working my way down to the bottom matching each line up as we go and you don't have to worry about the, the spider web being perfect because it is a spider web and not all 
look the exact same so do it however you like I just wanted it to be really uniform and match up really well so just do the lines all the way to the top and work your way down to the bottom And then for facial decorations, I just kind of took little things that I saw offline and applied them to this makeup. You, There are many, many different things you can do for this. Just kind of go with what you like the best, but I just did a lot of things at random. Still sticking to the red and black look, so I just did kind of like a red little teardrop shape on each side of my face along with adding some little dots and then underneath my chin which was not on camera I'm sorry about that I just did kind of little curly cue looking designs something I did totally random I just thought it would kind of add to the look a little bit and something different from the dots that we did so I just did that and I forgot to mention that underneath the spider web I took the same red pencil and made three little dots from the bottom of the spider web down to my nose just to kind of add some red decoration aside from the black dots that we were doing. And then to make the spider web look more real, I'm just going back in with a little eyeshadow brush that I use to paint certain things on my face black. And I'm just going in and shading the corners of the spider web in just to make it look more defined and look more real. And then after you do all that, you have the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the Sugar Skull or Dia de los Muertos Skull. It was really fun to do and kind of last minute. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I think it turned out really, really good. For accessories, I just added a black flower in my hair to add something to it. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't, and make sure to check out all of my links below. But until then, I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video, and make sure you guys have a safe and happy, happy Halloween. Bye, guys.